Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the meanings, history, and context of the words we use every day. My name is Benjamin Lewis. If you enjoy exploring language and history, please subscribe to my channel and you'll never miss a word. Recently something's been happening to a certain kind of channel on YouTube. They end up going missing or losing their ability to live stream. It's almost as if YouTube might be trying to purify itself of these users. Let's take a look at the word that's being used to describe this phenomenon in hashtag YouTube purge. Purge, verb, to remove an unwanted element from a system, body, or group. History and etymology. If you wanted something that was pure in the language Old Latin, you'd want something that was purus. And if you wanted to make something pure, you would add the suffix egere, which means to set in motion or to do. This forms the word purigare. The suffix egere comes from the Proto-Indo-European prefix ag, which meant to drive, draw out, or move. As the word purgare moved on from Old Latin to Latin, the definition focused on the body and self, meaning things like make clean, cleanse, or purify. Though sometimes it is used figuratively with the definitions refute, justify, or vindicate. This is also the root word of the word purgatory that I mentioned in a previous video on the word absolution. It comes from purgatorium, meaning means of cleansing. As Latin evolved and gave birth to the other Romance languages, purgare became the Latin purgare, Spanish prugar, and the Old French prigir. And just as many other words in the English language, the word purge was borrowed from French in the 14th century. It wouldn't be until almost three centuries later before the word purge would be used politically in the way it's being used today. In the year 1648, on December 6th, during the Second English Civil War, Colonel Pride took his regiment and set up blocking the stairs to the House of Parliament. As the members of Parliament arrive, he would check against a list of people who didn't support the nobles serving in the army. These, these nobles were called the Grandees. The Grandees were nobles that stood in opposition to another group called the Levelers. They stood against the Levelers because they desired expanded suffrage, equality before the law, and religious tolerance. This event was called Pride's Purge, and it was the first time the word purge was used to describe the removal of people who are politically, how should we say, undesirable. Since then, it's been used to describe similar methods used by totalitarian and communist regimes around the world. Prescription and commentary. This is the part of the video where I tend to get a little opinionated and political, so proceed at your own peril. If you enjoyed the video so far, please leave a like, subscribe, and share for more explorations of this wonderful language we call English. You can find more links to my sources and other information about this word in the link to the blog post below in the description. There's also a link to my Patreon, PayPal, and Maker support if you'd like to help support this channel. Now, let's get on with the show. As I was writing the script, I was also watching a stream on Facebook from Alex Jones from the InfoWars channel. And this live stream was because he just got a third strike on his channel. And now Alex Jones is gone from YouTube. Just like that. I thought I was coming to this story, the YouTube purge story, a little late. YouTube had announced it was a mistake that thousands of conservative and classical liberal and libertarian channels were hit with guideline strikes, bans, it doesn't seem like this video is coming out late at all, now. Not with what's going on. The first time I saw this purge going on was 
when BitChute featured a firearms channel that was banned by YouTube. And initially, I thought it was just because of the uh, shooting that happened in Florida recently. But then a couple days later, they posted another one from a channel called Bombard's Body Language. Having her channel removed due to a copyright claim from CNN over a piece of footage from C-SPAN, which is public domain and free for anyone to use. And then a couple days after that, none other than Sargon of Akkad has his Google account banned with no explanation whatsoever. He currently has it back, has access to his channel and his posting, but he still doesn't have access to his Google account. Looking at the given reasons for these bans and, and strikes that are being put in place by YouTube, it, it isn't clear to me that this is a mistake being made by their new team of reviewers that they've hired to manually review content. Because some of them are community guideline strikes, some of them are copyright strikes, and some of them are even just Google like site-wide for the entire service, as in the case of Sargon of Akkad. Now, I really can't read the minds of the people in charge of YouTube. Maybe it was a mistake. But if it was a mistake, there has to be a reason that the channels hit hardest were the ones that leaned any further right than Hillary Clinton. These channels that were struck by this mistake had to have some kind of special attention paid to them on the back end of YouTube. It's too much of a coincidence that when a mistake is made, it disproportionately affects libertarian, conservative, and even classical liberal channels. And since the effects of these mistakes are always negative, I have to assume that to some extent, YouTube finds these channels undesirable. It may not have been intentional, but there is one thing that's true, this was a purge of undesirables from the platform, even if it was just temporary. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the word purge, please leave a like and share it with a friend that might find this interesting. If you're interested in more explorations of the English language, subscribe. And if you're ever worried about not being able to find my channel right here on YouTube, I'd recommend heading over to BitChute and subscribing over there. There's a link down in the description. I mirror all my videos there. For more information about this words and link to related sources that I use to produce this video, you can click on the link to the blog post below in the description and find those there. I've also included links down below to Patreon, Maker Support, and PayPal if you'd like to help support this channel. I would love to be able to do this more often and make more videos about words, but to do that, I need to supplement my income so that I don't have to work quite as much. <laughs> Thank you, and until next time, keep on learning.